If you happen to use multiple databases, and uh, the reason you might do that is some of my clients that I've helped, you know, they do their, their accounting for their aging parents, so they didn't want to have an intermixing of accounting, so they created a new Quicken instance, new Quicken file for their parents. We'll put that here, we'll call parents, okay. Quicken now is going to create a new uh, file here. Oh, and here, look, uh, it's saying, hey, it looks like you're saving this on Dropbox. We don't like that. We don't, don't do that. It's going to take you through this process, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to have a new database file. And what you can do, though, is, you know, you probably say, hey, well, how do I get back to my old database file? You know, because I want to go back to my account. Go file, you go open Quicken file, go back to where your original file was located, and you open that.